Hello again, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Today, we're gonna to do something that we've not done before. We're not gonna talk about a product that Woodpecker's makes. We're gonna talk about one that we sell. I wanna to talk to you today about cymbal clamps and how they're different from everything else on the market. All right, let's get started. Now, when Jorgensen clamps were made in the United States, I was a big fan. Uh, and when Bessie clamps were made in Germany, I was a big fan of those too. Uh, neither one of those are true anymore, sadly. So we decided to go out and find a clamp that we could feel good about selling, no matter where it came from. Uh, and we found cymbal clamps manufactured in Taiwan. I want to go over a few things that really set these apart from everything else on the market. Now, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is the surface finish on the bar. The bar is media blasted and then nickel chrome plated. Between the blasting and the plating, you have a bar that is really smooth. And what that means is that the head moves up and down very, very easily. You're not gonna have the head binding as you try and slide it up and down the bar. Now, while we're talking about the sliding jaw, let's take a look at the mechanism in there. So to move the handle and the sliding jaw away from the head, all you do is just pick up ever so slightly and pull the handle down like that. If you wanna come back, same thing in the opposite, we're just gonna push down a tiny little bit and slide it up. Now that mechanism is much smoother than others that I've worked with. It's very, very easy to move the sliding jaw down or back into place. Another thing that I noticed is that when something is in the jaw, it engages right away. A lot of these parallel jaw clamps, when you bring the head up and start tightening the clamp, it doesn't engage right away and you're sitting there running out of thread because the head's not engaged. I've not found that to be the case with these symbols at all. It engages right away every time. Then let's talk about my favorite feature on the sliding jaw and that is the way that this handle works. Uh, I've got some arthritis. It's Maybe the hair is a telltale sign that I've got a little age to me and sometimes gripping a handle like this is very difficult. Well, this is set up so I can take that out, pop it 90 degrees, and now I can get some leverage on that. And I can do that in two different directions. So it's a lot easier to get heavy leverage on the clamp. It's a fantastic feature and one I've only seen on cymbal clamps. A couple more little features about the clamps. They don't seem like much until you start getting used to them and then uh, you try something else and, and it really shows up. One of them is the clutch mechanism. I want to talk about that again. Wherever you put that clamp head, it stays. It will not shake down in either direction. So when you're putting something together, you can preset your distance and it's going to be there when you're ready to go to work. Another thing that it's just a little thing, but it really is something that I like. Take a look at the, the uh, pad here. Uh, now you can see that the pad actually goes around the bar. All the others slide on, and that means that they <laughs> slide off. But with the symbol clamping pads, they are captured around the bar, so they stay in place. Okay, enough talking about these clamps. Let's put them to work. Uh, I have some Christmas projects that I'm working on here. This one isn't ready to go yet. This hasn't been sanded, but this shows you what it's gonna look like. Uh, this is a little toddler's chair with two different levels. Uh, you have it like this, and then when they get a little bit older, you turn it over, and now it fits their longer legs. Uh, kind of a cool idea, and I have some made for some friends where this one is going to go to the router table and get softened up. But I have one right here that's all ready to go into the clamps. So the first thing we want to do is get our longer parallel jaw clamps out here. And these pads are going to keep 
my material off the bar so I don't have to worry about staining. So let's just go over what we did there. Uh, we started out with the base, the back of the seat, and the sides clamped together with a pair of 31 inch symbol parallel jaw clamps. Then I used a spacer block and a couple of 12 inch parallel jaw clamps to clamp the seat back to the back. Uh, then I uh, <laughs> had to add a couple and I used Symbol's medium duty parallel jaw clamps that we'll talk about in another deep dive. We used that to pull the sides into the seat up at the top. Didn't know I was going to have to do that. They just need a little extra tension there. Uh, so everything has come together very nicely. All the joints are crisp and sharp. I just have a couple little spots of squeeze out that I'm going to have to deal with. This is going to be an easy project to finish up. Really enjoyed using the symbol clamps on this project. Everything went smooth. As you saw, there were a, a lot of dominoes in there and it's nice when uh, the clamps work smoothly and you can get everything together in plenty of time before the first of the glue starts drying up. And it certainly didn't have any problem with that today with these clamps. Now the parallel jaw clamps are just one of the symbol clamps available from Woodpeckers. There's a link down below that'll take you to the page on our website where it shows all the symbol clamps available. And if you'd like to see the product video about the symbol parallel jaw clamps, there's a link for that right here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.